If your business offers a product or service that isn't immediately understood, an explainer video for your homepage or landing page may be exactly what you need. Hi, I'm Tom from Wondershed Demo Creator and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make an explainer video so you can improve your marketing and conversion. And if this is your first time here, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. The use of video is continually rising, but it can also be an intimidating medium for beginners. In my last video, I showed you how to make a screencast video. If you have seen this video, I'm sure you have some ideas for your explainer video already. And if you haven't seen that video, you better check it out after this one. But before we jump right in, I think it would be a good idea to talk about what exactly an explainer video is and go over some ways you can incorporate this type of video into your everyday workflow. The purpose of an explainer video is to do just that, explain something. They typically feature animations with a voiceover that explains what your business does so the viewer understands. This can include anything from sharing helpful tips, walking the viewer through an activity, or teaching them how to solve a difficult problem. Explainer videos are great for home service companies or websites as well as software services. If someone is unfamiliar with something, for example plumbing or HVAC, and they're looking for a quick fix to a problem at home, a video is a great easy way to show them a solution. They'll have a much easier time following an instructional step-by-step -step video rather than following a written list of steps to take. And now let me show you how you can easily make an explainer video. Let's assume that you have a web application or web-based service that you want to promote. You want to create a screencast to explain what it does and how to use it. Now here are some tips to get you started. Tip number one, planning. As with anything else, planning is essential. So before you do anything else, plan your screencast carefully. Consider the following question. What overall message do you want the video to convey? How long should the video be? Should the video be a quick overview of your product or service or a longer, more detailed, informal screencast? Tip number two, voiceover script. If you do not plan to have a voiceover, you can skip this step. However, I would highly recommend to consider a voiceover. Once you have sketched your planning and storyboard, you can start writing your voiceover script. On another piece of paper, write out headings for each scene and then script each scene based on the bullet points you wrote earlier. Make sure to leave space for changes because you probably want to adjust the script once you get to the recording stage. More importantly, your voiceover script must help the viewer get a clear understanding of your video topic. And now the next step is to actually produce the explainer video. Here I highly recommend Wondershare Demo Creator because it's a screencasting tool that also features a built-in video editor. Using a screen recorder and editor together makes the entire creation process much easier and much more manageable. Plus, you can record on-screen video, record webcam, record audio, import existing media and edit videos all within the same product. If you're new to Wondershare Demo Creator, you can download it through the link in the description and get a 7 days free trial. And now, let me show you how to make an explainer video easily. Before you start recording, you need to prepare your product materials, such as product images, product website, or PowerPoint presentation. And now, let me share my screen with you. So after downloading the software, you can open the Demo Creator program and click the new recording button to start your screen recording. And so like I said, I'm using a presentation as an example here, but it could be product images, your website, etc. After that, a pop-up window will appear. And by default, Demo Creator will record a middle-sized screen. To customize the recording area, you just need to drag the border to adjust the size of the region. This way, you will be able to make precise adjustments to your screen recording. In order to create a high-quality recording, you can go to the Settings tab and choose a setting of 120 frames per second. And what's more, you can connect a webcam and microphone to increase the quality even more. It's a good idea to do a quick sample recording to test the audio in your video. First, make sure the audio device is on and connected. If you find that you have low volume, drag the audio slider to increase the audio level as you can see right here. Most importantly, please enable the screen drawing tool as you can annotate parts of your screen while you're recording, which is pretty useful. 
After that, you can go to your system screen and click the red round recording button to start recording. Then you can use the screen drawing tool in Demo Creator to annotate your product on screen and show exactly what your product or service does. During the recording process, explain your product as clearly as possible, tell the user what it is and solve the user's problems in detail. After the recording is finished, you can press F10 to stop the recording or F1 to pause and resume if you're using a Windows computer. If you're a Mac user, you can press Shift Command and 2 to end the recording or Option Command and 2 to pause and resume. When you're finished, the screen and audio will be present directly in the Demo Creator video editor. You can edit the video as you like. You can even add some captions or annotations at this stage if you like. Then you can export to share it. So it's super easy to use. Okay, so this was a detailed guide about how to make a product explainer video using Wondershare Demo Creator. So explainer videos are great for the following reasons. You can establish expertise and authority and you can also capture the all important how to and hack theme queries in the search results. Information related queries are more common than buy related queries or questions that follow later on. So from a search perspective, these videos are most likely to get the most views over time. Another benefit of explainer videos is that they don't outwardly promote your product or service. Instead, they provide useful and important information to help your audience while introducing them to your brand at the same time. Your audience will begin to see your company as a trusted resource and hopefully later on down the road as a trusted provider of products and services. And here's a little extra tip for you. Add a clear call to action at the end of each explainer video that reminds the user who provided them with the information and assures that your company name is the last thing they hear and something they remember. Okay, so those are all the video ideas and tips and tricks for your explainer videos. If you found this video useful, click the like button and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any further videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you next time.